How's it going, Eric? How's it going? It's OG Scotty P. Links. And, uh, this is a message for Big Lance on the yard. <laughs> Big Lance, anyways, yeah. I've been following your shit for a little minute. And, uh, I definitely feel what you're going through, although, personally, myself, my, my experience with Suboxone wasn't that successful. I didn't, I, I just didn't, I didn't like it. It didn't affect me that well, because, uh, I guess, uh, I, I, yeah, I just, I didn't have the patience for it. Um, so I want to tell you a little bit about what's happening, because I, send a thing on your live stream so right now i'm on a morphine taper which is uh see in bc here we used to have methadone and then all of a sudden one day they switched it to methadose right and methadose so methadone is like say if you're taking 70 milligrams you get 70 milligrams so methadose the same dose is basically seven but it was the the methadose is a little weaker. It doesn't have the legs that the methadone would. So what ended up, and they just switched it over in, in BC, like just one day, the next, the next day, everyone was issued this. Everyone on methadone had to switch over to this new product. So for whatever reason, they're experimenting on us out here in the West Coast. And so they throw us this shit and uh, it wasn't as strong. It didn't have the legs like the methadone did. So a lot of people, including myself, would chip and use and had to increase their dose, right? And just like, you know, like you said, big pharma, is, they're in it for the money. The pharmacist, makes a lot, the pharmacist makes a lot of money just issuing you your methadone and then watching you drink it. He makes like 60 bucks or something like that up here, man. It's crazy. Like they make an amazing amount of money. So stay in school and become a pharmacist because that's a legal drug dealer. Literally, it's a legal fucking dope dealer. Anyways, uh, yeah, I'm not I'm not a big fan of big pharma. I think they're a bunch of fucking crooks. And so there's this other program, the Morphine Acadian program, and what they are is they're basically like... Uh, gel well not gel caps so they're like the little you know like the morphine pellets with the little beads in them and uh yeah we go to our pharmacist every day which you know whatever it sucks having to do that um but i do so we go to the pharmacist every day and we take our take our meds and uh it seems to hold it's a slow acting the arcadians are slow acting so they're not necessarily for pain but they do help Personally, I found myself, the morphine taper is, I don't feel high off the morphine. Um, I mean, I, some people might think I kind of look baked or whatever, but I assure you I'm not. Um, I'm on a pretty good dose. I'm not going to get into numbers right now, but uh, it seems to hold. I don't. We don't really, me and my wife, we don't really, I don't really, well, speaking for myself, I don't have too many cravings, but I've got a few other habits. I like to have a few beers after work, right? And I like to, uh, and I smoke this shit like all day long. So, but I'm lucky in BC, weed is relatively cheap if you know where to get it from. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to say, uh, you know, I, good luck, Lance, don't, um, don't try and taper too quick. Um, I know, yeah, it sucks being on a ball and chain and blah, 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 but I think that's the quickest way to relapse is when you kind of, you know, think you're, think you're okay. Or, and it's, and so it, for me, it was always the first few days. That's, I mean, I, I would always get over the dope sickness of it, like the physical part. And then like a week later, I'd, I'd get high and I think I'd be all right. And then, yeah, it's a, uh, Heroin's a vicious circle. The opioids are a vicious circle. It's, it's crazy how they were unleashed upon us. You know, I mean, 
the pharmaceutical companies literally said that Oxycontin was a easier way to kick, you know, like was a less addictive than morphine. <laughs> like, fuck you, man. Like these people are such liars and they just get away with all this shit. It's just, you know, that's, that's what is crazy. Those are the criminals, man. It's the guys in the banks and the suits. I mean, I, right. You know, and you're going to get people say, oh, well, dude, you're weak. You can't do that. Well, you know something? Yeah, maybe a little bit or whatever. But, you know, once once you get wired, once you get strung out, it's that's like a lifelong process to stop getting strung out. I don't know many junkies that or anyone that's been, str- you know, strung out for a year only. It's usually a long lifelong thing and like I said there's usually core issues right so it's just kind of a sort of a little bit of a I don't know I don't know what I'm going to call this I guess I'll say uh, shout out Big Lance and good luck so yeah that's sort of what this is about I just saw his thing and then he 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 mentioned on the live when I said I'm on a morphine tape he kind of said morphine well good luck buddy like oh enjoy enjoy that or something like that it's kind of funny but just kind of wanted to explain it because some people don't really you know know what it's about or whatever so yeah um yeah I don't think I'd do methadone again it took my teeth it uh made me feel sluggish constipation fuck just yeah I didn't like it it made me excessively tired. So, anyways, uh, this is just a quick one. Uh, oh, I want to shout out Mother Nature. Um, I'm not the best email guy and all that kind of shit, so I gotta just kind of figure some shit out and uh, I'll hook up with you. I d- but yeah, definitely want to um, do do an interview or whatever. Thank you. That's that's flattering. Um, yeah, I'd also, I'm going to start, um, uh, bringing my wife on a bit. Cause just like I said, she's got some really crazy stories and, uh, also it's kind of interesting about how we met and stuff like that. I was sort of hoping to save it. Maybe I'll save it for an interview or something, but, um, yeah, I'm going to start bringing into some of that stuff cause she's really funny and she's witty as fuck. So I think, it, I think she'd be a great addition. So thanks.